have to write it down before I forget. Um, but first, I wanted to say that I woke up this morning at 0303, having a nightmare that you were telling me things that I, that I didn't want to hear. So I googled what the meaning of 0303 was, and it said, keep positive thinking. So then I thought, what would Est, um, Abraham ask me to do if I wake up in the middle of the morning? And I thought, they're going to ask you to meditate. So I was like, OK, I'll meditate. So I closed my eyes, turned the lights off. I had a little candle. And I was like, OK, angels, is this, what is it that I need to know? And then I thought, is what I read what I needed to know? And then the candle fell to the floor. And then I got scared, and I turned on the light. <laughs> and I was like, OK, I, I guess this is why I don't see more or hear more, because I would get scared, just like maybe what the friend was saying well, out there. What's interesting is about how you turn positive signs into <laughs> to crappy things. <laughs> punctuation is punctuation. He saw a rabbit, and it didn't say, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> what you translate is sort of about where you are and so let's talk about this so you awakened but we're going to really start at the beginning of this a dream is creation too what you dream about is a reflection of what your habit of vibration is about just like what you think and feel is what translates into your wake experience what you think and feel translates in your dream experience too because you're the creator of your dream just like you're the creator of everything in your life experience so when you awaken from a dream that feels really good then it's good to stop and think about it when you awaken from a dream that doesn't feel good we know the tendency is to try to get it away and try to figure out what went wrong and sometimes it's not easy just to turn over and go back to sleep so what your intention was you were asking for help from a place of feeling trouble and so even though the help was coming you turned it into trouble really the candle fell on the floor was there an earthquake no was there anyone else in the house mm -hmm. so you think that there was some energy that was focused there of course there was but if an energy is showing itself in some way what did you want the candle to do did you want the candle to just sit there did you want the candles to start speaking we don't think there's anything that that candle could have done that would have made you think it was a good sign so you're asking and asking and asking for something that you're afraid to get <laughs> yeah. yeah yes yeah that's me now you just heard that from Abraham was it something that you didn't want to hear no because here's why you translated it in that way we will always tell you how it is and we will never flatter you we will never twist the laws of the universe in order to suit what you were doing we will always tell you the laws of the universe as they are just like law of attraction will always follow the identical vibration that you're offering to replicate it in many ways it never gets squirrely on you will never deceive you and so you translated that in Abraham's going to tell you what they know whether you want to hear it or not whether you're ready to hear it or not Abraham's going to give you the laws of the universe that's what the rabbit was saying to you <laughs> does that make sense to you yes it does so you weren't really surprised to be called up maybe not maybe some part of me was so what do you possibly think that Abraham could say to you that would be something that you do not want to hear do I say it now think how illogical that is we've been talking to you about how your inner being is all about who you are and what you want and how every negative emotion that you have ever is because you're thinking in opposition to that so if that is true and it is how could it be possible that when you are in vibrational sync with your inner being that that inner being would say something to you that you don't want to hear that's not even possible and if you think that that's what What's happening you're under some other influence or you're translating it through your distorted lens of unworthiness or your distorted lens of not enoughness something like that is going on if your inner being is saying something to you like there is so much that you're asking for and so much that we're wanting to offer in response to that but sometimes you're not letting it in so you don't hear it we can see how you might translate 
in the early days when Jerry and Esther were getting to know us we encouraged them to utilize us in any way they could because we wanted them to know how much we knew about them and how much we knew about where they were specifically in the world so they cooked up this scheme it was really our idea Esther translated it and some friends who they knew who were aware of us really the only people at that time who were aware of us because Esther was keeping it a secret because after all it's weird and so <laughs> Esther said all right you guys they were living in Phoenix Phoenix is 50 miles wide and 50 miles long it goes far 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 in every direction and Esther said to them you guys go hide somewhere and we'll get Abraham to help us find you they said where Esther said, it doesn't matter they said really Esther said you can go to Tempe you can go to Macy you can go to Albuquerque you can go anywhere in this metropolitan area and Abraham will find you and so off they went they said we'll give you a half hour head start so off they went and then off Jerry and Esther go now Esther's not speaking like this she was receiving on the typewriter but in those days she didn't have the typewriter her impulse was saying let's go that way Jerry was driving let's go that way let's go that way let's go that way so they come to the first place and we said stop here so they stopped and their friends weren't there it was behind the dumpster at the Mountain Shadows Hotel and <laughs> they weren't there so off they went again they ended up over on Scottsdale Boulevard at Benny Hanna's and they're sitting in the parking lot they're looking all around and then off they went again they stopped seven or eight places and did not find them and finally they found them they ate three snicker bars and filled the car up with gas twice that's how long this went on it went on and on and on and on and on Esther said we're not going to play this game ever again because <laughs> it was a long game she thought it would be much quicker and then she said to our friends we were at the dumpster at the mountain shadows but you weren't there and they said we were but Abraham told us to move <laughs> and Esther said we were behind Benny Hanna's on the very back side they said we were there but Abraham told us to move now what we're getting at here things are always moving they're always evolving in other words we wanted Esther to understand that not only was she getting insight but other players in her co-creation were getting insight too and when she thought about it she doesn't know anybody more fun than those two she doesn't know anybody that's played more jokes than those two their inner beings were resonating completely with their intention to give Jerry and Esther a really good time and boy we all did <laughs> and Esther's inner being was helping her to find them and eventually they did so what we're saying to you is you get what you expect and the universe will cooperate with you you get what you're thinking about and when you start hooking up with source energy oh then what you get is more expansive and more rewarding and ultimately moment by moment more satisfying so what's on your mind now um, it's two questions and I should ask the most important one but I'm gonna switch to the love one I met a man and I fell in love and I thought we had an incredible intimate beautiful communion and you were behind the dumpster at the mountain shadows but there's somebody else somewhere else <laughs> Did you that? understand that? <laughs> no. Did you understand that? Yeah. We encourage you to purchase the recording. <laughs> Please tell me I didn't understand. Well, sometimes you're on your way to something. Sometimes your inner being will lead you to an experience that will help you to activate and fine tune vibrational frequencies within you so that the next rewarding thing is available to you and the next and the next and the next. You understand yeah and that's why we were saying Jerry and Esther looked there and then they looked there and then they looked there and then they looked there they looked a lot of places before they found them and all those places that they went were right also and that was the fun of the game that we were all playing together is that they were there they weren't there when Jerry and Esther got there but they had been there and the fact that they had been there and they had told them they had been there so Jerry and Esther knew that they were on the trail it just took them a while to catch up you're on the trail it's just a little while to catch up and aren't you having fun eating snicker bars <laughs> right now I am yeah <laughs> what's the next and the other question is I had a timeline to find a job and the timeline is due next week and I guess it's just in gestation because it hasn't manifested physically well for sure it's on its way which means it's still in gestation we like that you got that but let's talk about timing here for a minute let's talk about timing because the way you mean timing usually in your physicalness is you mean timing like the moment in which it pops into your awareness where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it that kind of timing and the way we mean timing is when you come into conscious awareness of something and timing 
we can't say the word timing you all know what you mean by it and we don't mean something different from what you mean by it but we want to put with the word timing words like co-creation words like blending words like synchronicity and many factors coming together simultaneously when you have big intentions where there are many things that your life has helped you to know that you want then the best of timing includes a high percentage of those in other words when you say I'm on a timeline to get a job we want to say are you on a timeline to not only find employment but to find rewarding employment not only to find something to do but something that interests you and excites you while you do it not only others to work with but others who are in harmony who are also reaching for more in other words there's a lot more to what you're asking for than just what you want to define with time so if something isn't happening it's because you're asking for more than your letting in and that is hear this that's an indicator of a really strong and powerful deliberate creator because if you are sloppy in your creation then your timing can be quick in other words you can be brought immediately to something that you think you want and then you have to go through the experience of finding out that that really isn't what you want or that there's more about it that you don't want than that you do want but perfect timing is really from our perspective and the way that we want to say it is really good timing is when you allow a large number of components that are important to you to rendezvous simultaneously and nothing less than that will do you don't want to just put up with a little piece of something you want like it happened in the timeline it happened before my deadline was in place we want you to be willing to allow the universe to round up all of the cooperative components that you're asking for which include a lot of factors and we want to say to you that you're the last of the cooperative components you're not letting yourself in we talked about this all day today because you're so aware of what is that's what deadlines and goals do in a detrimental way to you they make you focus upon the absence of what you want they make you nervous they make you feel frustrated they make you feel tense so you don't want to introduce into your equation of intent those things that make you feel like that you want to step back and say when I'm ready it'll be there when it's ready for me and I'm ready for it then it will be there and when it comes I will know it I won't question it I won't wonder about it it will feel good to me even though I don't really understand how it's going to unfold and in the beginning it will be far less that it will be later and it'll be far less that it'll be later and this is something that's going to expand and evolve as I do too but what happens so often with humans is you want to fast forward there and you want all the answers that might answer any questions that you might ever have to be satisfied before you even have the questions and what you're really wanting to do is just have an expansive good feeling experience and from what we've been talking about here today what do you think is the way to get there in the fastest and the most easy way is to feel good about where I am well that takes some doing because right now I don't have something that I really want need want need want need that doesn't matter you can find the emotion of it well I don't know if I can find the emotion of it until I have some glimpses of it yes you can when you don't have enough money you can put prosperity and a feeling of well-being in there if on past jobs you haven't been respected you can put the respect that you want and deserve and that you want to give and that you want to receive in other words you can find those so as you isolate some of those things that you're looking for and then you go out in the day and the universe delivers something to you like the rabbits or whatever it is that fills in that little piece and that little piece before you know it you're resonating with so many of the things that are important to you that you're now ready to allow yourself to be the receiver of what's been being revealed for a long time you think the universe isn't showing it to you it is the revelations are happening all around you but you've got to be in the receptive mode before you can realize what's being revealed as you look at it that way then you don't feel deprived it's in the gestation process it's not not coming it's coming don't you want the timing of the birthing of the baby to be right don't you want it to have fingers and toes before it gets here oh I was in a hurry for you sorry about that <laughs> my desire was so strong that you got here that Ah, oh, you got some catching up to do, I see. <laughs> and so you get the point. Yes, thank you so much. Enough? Yes. Thank you. There we go. There we go.